Are you ready to have some fun? Let's see who's animal number one. With his very long neck. You must be a giraffe. With a cheeky grin and green scaly skin, this is one animal you don't want to get in the water with. It's a crocodile! During the day, you sleep upside down and only come out to play at night. You must be a bat. Where's our next animal? Oh, there you are. You can hold your breath underwater for a long time. Wow! You're huge! You're a hippopotamus. Or hippo for short. You're a very big cat. I love your fluffy mane around your neck and your beautiful yellow coat. It's a lion! Big and hairy with long, strong arms. Hello, gorilla! Thick, grey skin and a large pointy horn on your nose. You're a rhinoceros, or rhino for short. Whoa! What was that? It looked just like a cat. Oh, it's the fastest animal on land. It's a cheetah. Big front teeth for munching on wood. Hmm, you must be a beaver. You're big, brown and furry, and you look very, very strong. I think you're a bear. What's inside that white cocoon? Look, it's coming out. There, it's a beautiful butterfly. OK, so you're a beautiful black, white and orange bird but you can't fly. Oh, it's a penguin. Look, it's the biggest land animal in the world. With that long trunk and beautiful white tusks, there's no doubt that you're an elephant. You're a black and white bear and very, very cute. It's a Panda With no arms or legs, you're a reptile who slithers along the ground. There's only one thing you could be. A snake! Hello! Look at those humps on your back. Are they used for storing water? You must be a camel. bright pink bird with a long neck. It must be a beautiful flamingo. Here's another big cat with stripy orange and black fur. It can't be anything else. You're a tiger. Hello funny swinging creature. Look at your long tail. I know what you are. You're a monkey! Hello, small furry thing. Oh, hello to your friend too. And your other friend. Or are they your brothers and sisters? You're a meerkat. You look like a horse, but you have the most amazing black and white stripes. You're a zebra. I'm Kirsty the chameleon. There's something special about me. My skin changes colour, so I'm tricky to see. But I woke up this morning and something was wrong. My trick wasn't working 
My colours have gone. I need to find them, but where can they be? I'm sure my friends at the zoo can help me. Have you met the animals? There are quite a few. Let's look for my colours as we go round the zoo. The lion's the king with a fine yellow coat and a roar that rumbles from the back of his throat. The gorilla is strong and his fur is dark grey. He might look quite scary, but he just loves to play. Down in the deep lives Harry the whale. His thick skin is blue from his nose to his tail. Alligator yawns. His teeth look so mean. His claws are quite sharp and his scales are dark green. My friend the flamingo loves to stand and just think. His feathers are soft and a lovely bright pink. The ladybird has wings tucked into her back. Her colour is red with a few spots of black. The black and white panda is cheeky and funny. She eats lots of bamboo and then rests when it's sunny. Coiled around a branch you cannot mistake. The shiny green shape of Lucinda the snake. With a shaggy brown coat, the bear lives in a cave. His claws may be sharp, but he knows how to behave. The orange striped tiger pads around on all fours. She swishes her tail and she sharpens her claws. The penguin looks smart in a black and white suit. And his baby is soft and so fluffy and cute. This elephant is one of the kindest you'll meet. She's wrinkly and grey, and she's got massive feet. The monkey loves climbing, and his fur is light brown. From up in the tree, he loves to swing down. With a slimy red body and sticky red toes, how does Newt do it? Nobody knows. With a dusty grey hide and a horn on her nose, the rhino stands out wherever she goes. It's zoo closing time, so we must say goodbye. Are my colours back? I'll give it a try. Look at my skin starting to glow, shimmering and bright, just like a rainbow. A A is for alligator. B B is for bear. C. C is for camel. D. D is for dolphin. E. E is for elephant. F is for Flamingo. 
G. G is for gorilla. H. H is for hippo. I. I is for iguana. J. J is for jellyfish. K. K is for kangaroo. L. L is for lion. M. M is for monkey. N. N is for newt. O. O is for owl. P. P is for penguin. Q is for quail. R. R is for rhino. S. S is for snake. T is for tiger. U U is for urchin. V V is for vulture. W. W is for whale. X. X is for x-ray fish. Y. Y is for yak. And Z. Z is for zebra. There's lots of animals to meet today. There's mummies, daddies, and babies who play. Animals on land and animals in the air. Let's start by looking over there. Hello, Daddy Lion. Where's your baby? There she is. Your baby is called a cub. Hello, Mummy Alligator. Where's your baby? Hello. Your baby is called a hatchling. Hello, Mummy Elephant. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a calf. Hello, Mummy Hummingbird. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a chick. Hello, Daddy Frog. 
Where's your baby? Oh, look. Your babies are called tadpoles. They'll grow arms and legs soon and grow into frogs. Hello, Mummy Kangaroo. Where's your baby? There she is, in your cosy pouch. Your baby is called a joey. Hello, Daddy Seahorse. Where are your babies? Here they come. Your baby is called a fry. Hello, Mummy Zebra. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a foal. Hello, Mummy Swan. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a cygnet. Hello, Daddy Seal. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a pup. We're playing a game here at Number Zoo. The animals are hiding. It's up to me and you. To spot a nose, a tail, some ears, a beak. In this happy game of animal hide and seek. Now, what are these lying here strewn all around? And who threw that now? Could you please turn around? It's a monkey! Oh look, what's that now? Another banana? But with green scaly spikes. Ha ha! Of course, it's an iguana! Who's hiding now? And what are those? Stripes. And what was that growling? Mouse, get out of here! Yikes! Of course, a tiger. Did you get that too? You did? Wasn't he scary? I hope we don't meet any more scary creatures now. Come on, let's go somewhere less jungly. Oh look, we can cross on this log by this stream. But wait, are they claws? Surely logs aren't this green? Unless... Yes, it is! It's an a a a alligator! Run! Phew! That was close! No more scares, please. Just hiding, OK? Let's sit for a while. Have a snack. Then we'll go. Hey! That's not a hook. It's a horn. It's a rhino. What a good hiding place, Mr Rhino. What a good place to hang a hat. Funny, clever rhino. Who could be hiding now? What's by that big rock? Look, there are some feet. And poo! What's that smell? It's raw, rotten meat. Ew! animal would eat that? A vulture, of course. Who will we find next, I wonder? This sofa looks comfy. Love the warm fluffy back. Wait a second, it's moved. Ha ha, that's because it's a yak. Who else might be hiding, do you think? How strange, how absurd, one leg and no head. Hang on, it's a rather sleepy flamingo bird. That's a funny way to sleep. Now who'll be next? Who's hiding, do you think? Look, a party with lots and lots of delicious looking food. Yum! Mmm, cake on a plate, jelly on a dish, mmm, but wobbling that much. 
Hey, wait, that's not food. It's a wibbly wobbling jellyfish. Ha ha, cheeky jellyfish. Were you pretending to be party food? That could have been nasty, you crazy wobbling jellyfish. I wonder who's hiding now? A penguin. But you're not hiding, are you, Mrs. Penguin? Hey, wait. What are those underneath by your tummy? Four feet? No, that's a baby and you are its mummy. What a cute baby penguin that was. I wonder who else might be hiding in the zoo. Hey, stop. What was that? Moving there in the leaves. Oh, look. It's a munching giraffe that's as tall as the trees. Time to go home now. Let's finish our game. What's there by the tree? A claw, now a mane. Of course, it's a lion. Well done, Mr. Lion. Do you want to help me feed the animals their meals? All of the animals eat their meals at different times of the day and they all have their favourite food to eat. Look, it's the special number zoo clock that tells us what time it is. The little hand is pointing to number eight and the big hand is pointing straight up at number 12. That means it's eight o'clock. Time for a morning feed for Leon the lion. Lions are carnivores, which means they mainly eat meat. Shall we feed Leon some meat? Gobble, gobble. It's now 10 o'clock. Look, the small hand is now pointing at number 10. That means it's time for the penguins to have breakfast. What do penguins love to eat? That's right, fish. Luckily, we have lots of fish in this bucket here. Let's throw the fish to the penguins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fishies should be enough for your breakfast. It's 12 o'clock, also known as midday. Look at that. Midday means that both hands are pointing at number 12. And it means we need to go and feed the tallest animal in the zoo, the giraffe. Unlike Leon the lion, who is a carnivore, Jenny is a herbivore, meaning she only eats plants. Giraffes like to eat the best leaves and twigs from the top of the tree. These leaves are nice and high, so Jenny the giraffe gets to stretch that long neck of hers. The time is now half past one. Look, the small hand is pointing between one and two and the big hand is halfway round the clock, pointing to the bottom. That means we're halfway between one o'clock and two o'clock. Half past one. I think it's time to visit Gary the gorilla. We have some lovely fruit, seeds and leaves here for you. Gorillas need lots of food, so let's throw him all of this yummy stuff.
Can you spot the big hand pointing down at the bottom of the clock? This means it's half past again. Look, the small hand is now between two and three, which means it is half past two and time to feed Benji the bear. Let's give him a treat today. His favourite food is a certain type of fish, a salmon. There you go, buddy. Bon appétit. At three o'clock, it's time to feed another animal. Here's Ronnie the rhino, and she's looking hungry. She's another herbivore and enjoys eating grass and plants. So let's put a nice, fresh bag of grass and twigs out for her to munch on. Yum, yum. It's now quarter past four. Can you see the big hand is now in a different place? It's a quarter of the way round the clock, but the little hand is pointing just after four. So it's quarter past four. I think we should go and feed the flamingos. Oh look, the flamingo's pink colour is a bit faded. Let's feed them some yummy pink shrimp. Ha! Look, when the flamingo eats the pink shrimp, her feathers turn pink. That's amazing! At five o'clock, it's time to give Billy the beaver some more food to eat. He eats the bark and leaves off a tree. Watch him chomp away at it. It's six o'clock now and time to feed the panda. Do you know what pandas love to eat? Well, a panda is actually quite fussy. They only eat leaves from the bamboo tree. We had to search high and low here at the zoo, but we've managed to find some lovely bamboo branches for Percy the panda. It's now getting late at the zoo, but there's just enough time for a nighttime snack. What time is it? Can you tell the time? Yes, the small hand is pointing at the eight, and the big hand is pointing straight up to the top. That means it's eight o'clock. Let's give those cheeky monkeys a nighttime feast. What do monkeys love to eat? Yes, bananas. But they also love all sorts of ripe fruit and vegetables. So let's throw all sorts of delicious fruit and vegetables in there for them. It's closing time now at the zoo and all the animals are going to sleep. Thank you for helping us feed the animals today. Why not come back to Number Zoo next time and learn to count all the animals? Goodbye!